Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. It's Lorette, the Vintage Paper Girl. Welcome to my studio. I'm very excited each and every one of you is here with me today because it's Merry Monday. Yay! <laughs> anyway, it's Merry Monday, and I am working with Taylor Made Journals. So it's Merry Monday with Taylor Made Journals, Lorna Taylor. And today we're going to be working with some of her beautiful products in her new line. Um, we're probably going to be work with vintage Christmas, Christmas plaid, and uh, a few of her digitals. So, I mean her digitals. So sorry, Lorna. Uh, a few of her rubber stamps. Now, I'm a little discombobulated. I'm going to try to do this video, but a little bit ago, I badly burned my left hand. It's killing me. Um, and it's already starting to blister. So <clears throat> I am going to try to finish this video. If you don't see any more videos this week, you will know why. It was my first finger and, well, I, this part of my hand and it, it's starting to blister there. But I thought I better get it done before it sets in and I got to put a bandage and maybe I won't be able to work. So for right now, I have it frozen solid. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do this video as best I can because I promised Lorna that I would share this with you during a Merry Monday. And there's only two more Merry Mondays left of July. Although, Merry Monday's any Monday. So if I don't get them done, you know, if I'm sort of kicked out of what I'm doing for a little bit, I will be back to do more because, oh, I love her papers and her stamps. I spent some time the other day stamping an envelope full of things. And I realized I don't have any red ink I have a little bit of this sort of cherry red which I don't like um and so it's the pad is an old old ink pad so I think what I'm going to do is um I ordered some uh versifying because that's what I love working with these are all versifying and oh my gosh they're gorgeous so I'm going to cut this off here so it's free from the red and um I'm going to I've done some green and some burgundy, you know, and I'll use what I have. And then when I get the, I ordered black as well. All I really have is distress inks and some older inks. And I wanted some newer, sharper for digital, for um, not digital, but what do you call it? Like um, detailed prints. And Lorna's, oh, your rubber stamps, Lorna, are fabulous. I mean, they just print gorgeous. So, um, I'm going to pull out a few things that I know I want to, I may want to use. I'm not sure what I'm going to use. I, I've just got my little pouch there. So what I've done with two of Lorna's papers here is I've made a lovely little folder. And I guess we'll call it a folder. It's made from two 8x8 eight eight pieces. And I folded one directly in half. Then I took another one and I folded it a little further in. I would say to make this folder it was probably a good inch and a half to inch and three quarters and I don't want to fold these because I don't want these to be a folder right now uh, but I'm going to show you what I did and then I put one inside the other glued it down and then it was longer in the back so I cut that off so it wrapped around so you can see I wrapped this one on this one okay and when I can, I will show you how I did that. So, um, you know, I don't want to fold these up right now. So, and then I took another piece and I folded it up, just fold it in half, folded it up, rounded the corners and made myself a little, a little pouch that you could put some ephemera in or it's a pocket, folded pocket. And this is a folded pocket. So what I thought we would do today is decorate these darling folded pockets from these eight by eight paper pads. This is vintage Christmas and the plaid. And so I did the plaid on the outside of this one. And this is one of the vintage Christmas pieces. And so I thought we could play with those a little bit today and you know see what we can do um, until my hand starts to throb and then I'm gonna have to quit. So how is everybody? I hopefully you're doing better than I. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness so this is one of Lorna's papers and I cut a tree out of it I thought that might be pretty on there or my other option is Christmas ornaments I cut those out of a sheet do I have those sheets in front of me mm. well there's one like that is this any of them mm, no 
Let me see if I can find it. I don't know why I keep putting that back in its package because honestly, you know, I've thought it out and I'm working with it quite a bit. And, and of course I have a million ideas, but, um, oh, see, this was the Christmas page here. But when I cut it out, I also had wanted to cut these. So I do have some of them cut, okay? And where's the others? I have, I thought I cut some more out. Then I just have that in my hand a minute ago. Oh yeah, here we go. So I have these cut out of this sheet. I can cut out flowers too, because there's no, of course, there's no ephemera to go with these. You gotta make your own, which is the whole fun part is that you have all these lovely flowers to cut out. You can cut out the trees, you can cut out the baubles. Um, the berries, snowflakes if you want. So really, these are so versatile. You could cut this in half. What a gorgeous tag that would make. What's on the other side of that? Oh yeah, that. That would make a stunning tag. So would these. This would be a gorgeous tag too. Okay, so anyway, you have all those things you can fussy cut, which I did do. Now I just have to decide what do I want to put on the cover of this. Do I want to put the Christmas tree maybe towards the bottom and then... Um, For this one, I was thinking Joy to the World at the top. I really like that. I was thinking that that would be beautiful on there. The tree would be lovely. This one maybe go on the insides. So put that off to the side. Let's get this. I did not realize how much I use my left hand. I mean, I did because uh, when I injured my right hand, I had taught my left hand I injured my right shoulder many years ago. I taught my left hand had to do everything my right hand does. And so I'm pretty ambidextrous to where I use both all of the time. And so, Lorna, these are stunning. This is Creative Expressions and Lorna Taylor's the designer. And I want to, I don't know if I want to use this one or not. We'll see. I don't think I'll ink it just yet. I think I'll wait and see. But this one here now, um, I did round the corners on this one. when I, I just glued it here and here and here and here. Oh, I have a backside to decorate too. Yes. Okay. So I think I will put that on the front. It's so pretty. I just love that tree. And like, do I want it to the left or to the right? I kind of like it to the right. I think we're going to need a saying up there, but I don't want to. I don't know if I want to use Joy to the World or... Let me see what else I have. There was another one. Oh, Merry Christmas. That one's beautiful. I have Santa. There's a smaller one. Did I put that on paper? Let me see if I put it on a piece of paper where I could cut it out. I stamped pages. I sat and stamped a bunch of pages and then cut everything out. And... I don't have, see, I did that. I don't have one in the green. I would love that to be green. I think my, my thing is predominantly green. But let's see, what else would be great up there? Now, I have a bunch of rubber stamps. And of course, I don't want to stamp on the page. Um, hold on a minute. Oh, we have all kinds of goodies. We could do, let's see, Joy to the World, Seasons Greetings, Stockings, North Pole, Joy Noel. Joy Noel would be neat up there. Seasons Greetings would be pretty up there, but it might be too big. Let me see. No, we could probably get Seasons Greetings up there. Oh, okay. I'm going to make myself hurt, aren't I? Hmm. Merry Christmas would be pretty, too. I just saw that on here. Excuse me, I am a little discombobulated uh, <laughs> because I'm trying to get this done before my hand starts to throb too much. Um, I like Merry Christmas and Season's Greetings. I think Season's Greetings might go up there really nicely. I haven't used this one yet. Mm. Oh, yeah. I will tell you the packaging is not fabulous on that. All right, so let's go with this. Um, paper, 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 paper. I need paper. Somewhere I can stamp that. 
Um, I have a piece of cardstock here, coffee dyed cardstock that I got from um, Triple V Vintage. Veronica, she is fabulous. I kind of, when I have a new stamp, I always rub it on my skin. I don't know who told me that or where I heard it, but, and it seems to work really well. One minute. Okay, now, these are my VersaFine colors. I stuck them in this little tray. Where, oh, there's my green. Okay. Good question about where to put this. I'll just put it on the floor. Oh my gosh, guys, I don't have an ounce of spare room anywhere. Out. Okay, so now I want to do a test stamp before I do that. So I have a little sheet here that I kind of been doing those on. Okay. I find you don't have to whack these. Just push down on them. There's so much ink in this VersaFine, and it's meant for fine detailing. So I'm just going to... Don't rock it. I am pushing down, and I rocked it. Darn it. Oh, it came out all right. Yay. Look at that. Gorgeous. Oh, Lorna, these are just beautiful. Beautiful, my friend. And then I have a yucky stamp off sheet. And I will clean that when I'm done because that VersaFine kind of doesn't come off all that easy. It really doesn't. It's pretty, it's pretty firm. Um... The only thing is I don't know if I'm going to be able to fussy cut with this, so we're going to have to see. Give that a minute to dry. I'm sure it's already dry. VersaFine's very quick to dry um, if you're not working on a very slick surface. So let me make sure you are. I am recording. Okie dokie. Okay. Now, do I want to add, oh, I know what I want to add down back behind this. <laughs> My daughter brought me this beautiful gold mesh. She's got, she has it in the shop or going to have it. I don't know. I think it's already in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's about um, two inches, two and a half, two and a half inches wide. Oh, I love it. Something new to play with, right? Okay. So... Let me get it on there. The only thing is I'm not going to be able to go that high because I do want to put the words up there. I don't know. It might be okay. I don't have a lot of glue up there, so I can probably leave it there. I'm going to leave that loose at the top so I can move it around. And I'm going to go ahead and use this because it's going to, part of it's going to go on to that pretty gold mesh. <clears throat> I'm going to leave a tiny space at the bottom because I'm going to want to put some kind of lace down there more than likely. If I know me. I want to cut this fussy to cut this if I can. We'll see how I do. Okay. 
Good thing it wasn't any of the other fingers on that hand that got really badly burned. They're, they all got... I'm not even going to tell you how I did it. It was the stupidest accident. It was a curling iron accident, just assume. <sighs> Dumb. Yes. <clears throat> that will go up there beautifully. Okay. Ow, ow, ow. It's starting to blister pretty good right there. Yikes. It's starting to hurt. Okay. Short video today, guys. But I wanted to come and say hello, let you know I hurt myself and... If you don't see a video for a few days, it's because I either can't hold anything in that hand or I don't know. I mean, sometimes when I get a burn, it hurts so bad at first and then it just numbs out and it's fine. So I don't know. I, I feel like the mesh overtook that. You know what? It hasn't dried yet. Forgive me. I love the mesh. It's stunning, but I kind of feel like it just took over the whole tree. is too delicate um, for that. So let me see if I've got something else that I would want to put on there. Oh, I have red. I have green. I just want to put some white snow mesh on there, I think. I don't know if I have any white snow mesh. Yeah, I do. I don't I think it's big enough. Gosh, you guys, I need to clean up my whole area where I have all that kind of stuff. I just keep throwing everything in there. Give me a minute. Ah, have to get out my mesh. Oh, let's see. I do need to cut a piece of that off. Whoops. Oh, my goodness. I just created a mess on my desk. A mess on my desk. Okay, so what are you guys up to? Anything new and exciting while I figure out what the heck I'm doing here? I apologize. I usually have all this where I can get it, but... Yes, I could do a piece of this as well. So let me cut a piece off. Mm. I'm really getting through that, and that's the only roll of that I have, and I absolutely love it, and I have no idea where I got it. Oh, don't you hate that? You get something, you're in love with it, you want to keep using it, and then you're like, well, that's all I've got. Mm, I love that. Okay. Now, I thought the width of that other one was fabulous, so let me pull this down a little. I'm going to cut it here. I liked the width of this, so let me cut the width. There we go. All right. I'm going to clean that mess up when I'm done with this video. All right. Beautiful. Don't get me wrong. I adore that gold mesh. And if you're a gold mesh gal, go get it. I'm glad I have it to work with. But I thought it was a bit... Now, my other option is white mesh, which we have in the shop as well. Although we're going through it pretty good. The white's quite pretty, too. Gold or white. Gold or white. Oh, goodness. I don't know. <laughs> Come on now. Really? Sometimes, you know, you have to play a bit before you come to your decision about what's going to work for you. Oh, no. No, no, no. There we go. Luckily, we were using Fabri-Tac. If I'd been using another glue, I would be in so much trouble. I think the white makes the print disappear. Okay, now what did I just do with... Oh, there it is. I need to cut a piece of white anyway. It was fine. No worries. Yeah, let's do this. So now I have to re-glue, which is no big deal. I have plenty of glue. I don't know which side to use. Both sides are pretty. Oh, don't get that on your hand, Lorette. You get glue on that burn, you are not going to be a happy camper. 
You're going to be more than unhappy. You're going to be crying. Okay. Okay. Sorry about the breathing. <laughs> okay, let's try this. Let's get this done. Yeah, I like that so much better. Yes, I love the other gold mesh. Gorgeous. But it um, kind of overpowered the tree a little. But I think other people would probably love it. So personal taste, guys. Personal taste. There we go. Okay, now I'm in the right direction, or at least the direction I want to go in. All right. I feel like this is gonna need some stickles or something on it to, to uh, decorate the tree. Let's figure out what's gonna go on the inside. I'm thinking this one here would be pretty. Yes, I kiss cut this because of my hand so I couldn't really get there like I wanted to cut just a little bit more of the white off I do like the white showing so I wasn't trying to do a perfect um, fussy cut kiss cut is when you go to the edge and you leave a little white fussy cut is when you make it exactly perfect following what you're doing exactly perfect I wanted to leave some white to brighten it up back here because it's a bit dark I also have this one for back here but actually I'm thinking that it would be nice back here I might have to take off one of the pieces, but I could see this back here. Yeah, right there, maybe. Minus this little goodie. And that leaves us kind of another little bit we could use on something if we wanted. I'll clean that up in a minute. But yes, it fits there now nicely. Okay. Let's do this here. Not bad, I like it. Okay. So we can get rid of all these little scraps into the garbage can you go, my lovelies. There we go. Bye-bye. All righty. So I know what's going to go on the back. And let's go to the front here. And again, I want to put something behind that. So this time, do maybe I want some snow on this page. If it was longer. I just want to put a little snow this time so but I need the length so let's try for and then let's make it thinner I just want to put a little behind it I don't want to take up the whole page here hold on ouch this is not easy for me to cut right now okay there we go All right, so if we go like that, if we go like that. Still a bit too long. I mean, too wide. This is kind of a booger to cut. I generally would want to cut this on my cutting board with my rotary cutter. If I was trying to be very perfect about it.
I don't think it needs to be quite that long. Okay. Yeah, just a little something behind it to give it some color to lighten up our page. Oh man. These glue erasers are a lifesaver. We do have them in our shop if you need them. Um, so, you know, if you need a glue eraser and you're not familiar and you're new, it's Design Journal and Supply is my daughter and I own the journal and supply.com.etsy for supplies. Okay, so we have glue erasers. We carry the bottles. We now carry the caps for the bottles. So if you need any of those kind of goodies, go over to the shop and get what you might not have. Oh my gosh, I just made a mess out of that. Okay, let's glue this on. I will, but you need to use Fabri-Tac for this. We also have the white mesh the gold one the big gold one I don't that little sparkly one I don't have but this one's in the shop too if you need it so or want it for anything I mean I use gold mesh year-round I don't use it for just for Christmas no way I definitely use it year-round so oh beautiful okay so now we want to do one back here now what do we want to put behind that I have green mesh but I don't know if that would look good with that I'm sort of yeah, about it and I don't think I have enough green mesh anywhere. Uh, nope, nope, nope. And I don't have it in my box. So let me look. No. So, all right, let's just do a quick. I have green, I have red. None of those, I don't think we have any of those colors left in our shop. I don't know, you'd have to go look. If you want any of the meshes, you have to go take a look and see what Jolene has for you. She had, we had stuff, but it sold out very quickly. So, and you know, some of the stuff get is hard to get. So, um, if you can find it, great. You know, more power to you. Okay. I want just a little bit of this this time. I don't want quite so much. I just kind of want it on one edge, maybe. I'm gonna to have to start using hoarding this a bit, I think, even though I love it so much and I use it all the time. Yeah, let's do it. Can really see the white of the mesh on this uh, lovely, gorgeous plaid that Lorna designed. Oh, isn't that pretty? So pretty. Of course, I'm not done. I'm going to add laces and bling, some other bling. I'm sure, you know me, I'm never happy with just one thing. I feel like this one needs a word or something or a phrase. I will have to go through and do some stamping, I think, uh, for more words, because there's tons and tons in her rubber stamps. She has all kinds of words, lots and lots of words. Today I didn't use the... Um, the stencils, but I will in another one. We've got a Holy Night. We have Merry Christmas. I mean, there's plenty of Joy Noel. There's plenty of words to use, so I know we'll be able to um, 
easily stamp out some pretty words that we can use. And then we have Merry Christmas too. I would probably, there's a pretty Merry Christmas right here. Ooh, okay, I got it. All right. Um, what am I looking for? My, oh, there it is. How, ooh, mm, sorry. Gotta get that on my stamping block. You kind of put your, your oil on your hand to kind of, you know, give it some uh, protection. Get rid of the oils that are from manufacturing. Sorry, I was getting my ink. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, look at this. I didn't really want to do any stamping on camera, but I could see I needed to make some more things. Oh, yes. Okay, one second. Oh yeah, see I'll be cutting some of these out that are still good too to use for future use and from years to come. I'm gonna make myself a file of all these words so that I have them for my projects. When Christmas comes, I already have a lot of this stuff ready to go. Now when you're working with coffee dyed paper, I will push down and I will wait a few, five seconds because the coffee dyed paper is already full. You know what I mean? It's been, you've added coffee to the paper, it's soaked it up, and it doesn't have a lot of extra room in the, um, the fibers. So you wanna make sure that, there we are. You give it a few seconds to adhere to the paper. Okay, I'm gonna cut that out again. And this is a good cardstock. Boy, I don't know what. Feels like a good 65 pound or better. So. Let me. I'm making green my predominant color. I'm just very drawn to it right now. Not so much the red at this point. Oh, cute. Yeah, that definitely, I wish I would have thought to move it down, but I think it's okay to go over that, so it's kind of dangling from that, maybe. It looks really cute. Let's get some glue on this. Again, I mean, I'm using the Fabri-Tac. Oh, I'm bending this finger and it's killing me. Okay, I'm gonna have to quit here in just a second. Kind of like off to the side. I don't know why. So we got Merry Christmas there, and we have Seasons Greetings there. And then this one is going to be Joy to the World. I don't think I'll put any um, netting behind that one. I don't think, unless I have just like a, like a bit, maybe. I want them to all kind of go together. Because they're kind of a little set. Oh, they'll go maybe in the same journal, I would think. You know, there's a good chance they could go into the same journal. Oh, I forgot. I was going to round these corners. I should probably do it before I put that on there. Let's get these corners rounded. Okay, let's get this back on here. A little more glue. Where did it go? Oh, found it. And then I could just do a little trimming.
I do like to use the Fabri-Tec on a thin coffee paper like this so the lines don't show through. There we go. Oh gosh, a little more glitter here. Okay, so, gosh, I've got a mask on. Okay, there we go. Got a little cleaning up to do when I'm done here, don't I? 